What's up guys? Today's video is going to be extra extra fun, super excited about it. We are going to be taking this magnifying glass, you know, the things that you used to kind of burn ants with when you were a kid and stuff. We are going to be trying to shoot some bullets today with this magnifying glass. We're going to be using the power of the sun, which is pretty good, not too bad. Magnify it with this magnifying glass and see if we can shoot some bullets. We're just going to go for it. We're going to see what happens today. So buckle up, stay tuned. Here we go. I actually haven't even used this thing yet, so I don't know if it works, but it looks like it does as we got some smoke there pretty quick. And there it goes. Fire! Put that out. So it's safe to say that my magnifying glass works, but can it shoot bullets? That's what we're here to find out. It's honestly a little bit tricky setting this thing up and let me show you why. So I have my bullet set up. It's just, there's a zip tie around it. The zip tie is being held by this clamp and the clamp is kind of drilled in and stuck into that board of this pallet here. Now what I'm trying to do is actually set up my magnifying glass so that it's positioned perfectly. If you have a big, big circle like this, you're not gonna be able to burn anything. You need to really narrow it down and get it as tiny of a bead as possible and that's when you start to burn. So I have to get that bead right there, right where that firing pin hits. But I also have no idea how long it's gonna take that bead to actually ignite the bullet. So as I'm doing that and trying to position it, I have this folded up piece of cardboard and then I'm just kind of blocking the bullet as I go. Going like this so that the bead doesn't sit on the actual bullet for very long. Trying to get it perfect and then I'm just gonna run to cover behind my truck so that I'm a little bit safe. Got a camera pointing at the actual 50 cal bullet. Also is just kind of a fail safe just in case, you know, it's taking too long, it's not blowing up. I don't wanna get close to th this thing if it's like potentially dangerous. I tied some straps together, wrapped it around so I can yank it at any time and it will take that position off. Do one final check, make sure everything's lined up and then we'll go. So look what I got so far. I got this weird looking contraption with my magnifying glass. I've got my bullet right there. And if I move my cardboard really quick, that bead, that small little circle is pretty much right on target. So hopefully when I take this piece of cardboard off of my magnifying glass, that sun is just directed right in there. And hopefully we get a kaboom here soon. Looks like we're dead on there. And now we run. And now we run. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we go. A few minutes later. Okay, it is currently 11 o'clock, so it's been five minutes. Still nothing, no pop, no nothing like that. I'll probably wait five more minutes and then I'm gonna go check it out. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ten minutes, nothing happened. I'm gonna give it some time to cool down, um, then I'm just gonna go look at it. We'll reposition it, try again, but it's not looking too good right now. So maybe I just didn't wait long enough. I honestly have no idea, but we're gonna get set up and wait. Wait it out, see what happens. Twenty minutes later. Okay, I don't have time to wait around all day. It had been 20 minutes for that second round and still absolutely nothing here. It is warm to touch, but this might have to be a video that we revisit on this channel because I don't know what's going wrong. My angles are good. I'm directing the light good. The light sat right where it needs to be to be able to, you know, heat this up and shoot it. But I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know down in the comments. This was a long, interesting, but yet boring video. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.